hi everyone in the second step we have to generate a certificate authority for signing if you have already an existing ca then you don't you can skip this step if you don't have any certificate authority then you can create by using open ssl utility so before going you know and generating our own ca i want to give you some background so the certificate which we created in the previous step which is unsigned which means so the attackers are anyone can forge the same certificate and they can use so just to avoid the forged certificates we will sign those certificates with the ca a certificate authority so so like ca works like a government authority so so whatever the certificate i mean if you use a certificate without the ca then it is invalid so that is the reason in this step we have to create the ca and we can use it in the future so if you see here by using the open ssl utility i'm going to create a ca okay so we can use open ssl i'm requesting a new x509 certificate and it contains a key and a certificate so the key out will would be i'm giving the name as ca key and just out this is the ca certificate i'm giving the name as ca certificate and here also we have to give the validity that is days i mean when do you want this ca to expire so i gave the 365 preferably it's better to give you know um, long value okay so it is asking for pm pass phrase so remember for every step in the previous step when you are creating your certificate we gave some password so remember that password and while creating our ca for ca key we are giving another password so remember these things okay i gave some password now verification enter the same password again okay i entered and it is asking few details i just okay otherwise yeah i will use the oh, okay so otherwise you can enter so by default it okay so i gave test test is uh, test value is not taking because they just want two letter code so i'll just i don't want to give anything i'll just enter which means it will just take au so we can just enter so it will take by default values okay so if you see my ca certificate and ca key are created so in future we will see how to sign our you know the generated ca i mean how can we uh, sign our the generated certificate in step one by using the generated certificate authority so in this step we have to sign all the certificate generated in step one with the ca generated in step two so how can we sign that we will see that so here we have two commands the first one is from server.keystore.jks this is the certificate which we created in step one from this we are you know um, extracting our certificate and then by using the ca certificate we are signing it okay so once again from our key store we are extracting the certificate and then we are signing with our ca so this is a simple step i'll show you how can we do that okay i have to extract from server.keystore
so what can I do to do that we can use the utility key tool key tool key store so here we have to give our key store details that is server.keystore.jks alias localhost and certificate request and the file name would be cert file so we have to enter the key store password this is nothing but the, the our first password which we gave at the time of generating our key store that is nothing but the step one okay if you see the list files I have the cert file so this is actually the certificate of the broker or our machine so by using the step one we can just create the key store file it won't exactly create the certificate file so in this step we just extracted the certificate file from the key store and now we have to sign this certificate with CA so we can uh, I'm, I'm just copy pasting the command so instead of typing so here this is the name of the CA certificate and then this is the na name of the CA key and this is input certificate that is our certificate file and what would be the output output is nothing but the signed certificate so that's why we gave the real uh, you know relevant name that is cert signed and the validity you can give validity anything but I will give 365 and this one the password we have to give the CA password this is nothing but the password which we give in the second step so in my case it is 654321 okay you can see this here signature okay if you see here the signed certificate is created so if you use only one server or if you have only one server then do it only for that server if you have a cluster of server then you have to repeat all these steps for all these brokers so the next step is we have to import the CA and sign certificate to the broker key stores so in the previous step we signed our certificate with the CA so in this step we have to import the signed certificate and CA to the you know to the key store so for that we have to use the key tool utility and these are the comments I'll show you how can we do that So we can just use key tool and followed by key store and the key store file server.keystore.jks and alias we gave it as so if you uh, so if you want to import the ca cert then ca cert alias name is ca root and then we are importing the file name that is ca hyphen cert now we have to give the key store password that is first one it is asking trust this certificate so type s we are good the certificate was added to key store 
and now so in this step we imported the CA certificate now we also have to you know import the signed certificate so the alias name for the certificate is localhost import and the file name is cert signed if I'm not wrong it is cert signed the key stored password again the one which we gave in the step one certificate reply was installed in key store so it is successful now this server.keystore.jks it contains CA certificate and certificate signed and certificate file okay in this step import CA to client trust store and broker trust store so I will explain you where we will use this for now just you know import the CA certificate into the trust store then we will see where we will use it So by using key tool utility, so key store that is the trust store and so we are importing the CA certificate. So the alias name is CA root. I don't want to give client trust store. I want to give it as server trust store. Okay. We have to give the key store password that is the first one I gave and again I'm trusting it yes if you see we have server key store server trust store so if you have any questions you know by following these five steps so reach out to me you know, I'm glad to help you. Thank you guys.